right, I wanted to show you guys kind of that it doesn't take a lot of room to do photos. So I am doing flat lays. I'm in a different living environment right now. So this is my room and this is where I can do my photos. Um, so I, this is just my bed and on it I have a white piece of like soft fabric that I bought at, um, I think I paid like three or four dollars for it at um, Walmart. And then underneath it I have a gray blanket for if I have anything white, I'll do it on gray. But most of my stuff is black. Um, here I have a pile, this is what I'm going to be, it's part of what I'm going to be photographing today. Um, so I get all my stuff ready to photograph. Um, I have it all just as a tip too, that if you have something that's wrinkled, instead of spending the time to iron it, what I do is I throw everything into the dryer on a hot setting, uh, for about five to 10 minutes. And that seems to dry everything or get all the wrinkles out really well. So the light that you're seeing on the bed right now is actually just from the window. So to have some natural lighting, I try to do all my photos during the day just because it gives me more lighting. Um, I also have my two box lights that I use. Um, and then if I wanted to do some hanging, I do have my mannequin hanging on the wall. Lovely art piece. Um, so when I turn my, my lights on, it definitely brightens up um, my flat lay area quite a bit better. And I will take um, anywhere from five, five to 10 photos per item, typically average around four or five. So um, I will show you guys as soon as I get this laid out, like what they look like. Okay, so here's just a pair of Calvin Klein jeans that are 90s mom. So I'll do usually do one photo like this. Um, I will open them up so that you can see a full length um, of them. Maybe I'll throw a leg over just, and I, I will actually stand on a stool so I'm right above. I take pictures of any flaws whatsoever, any close-ups of the tags. I also take pictures of um, the tag itself and usually what size it is and then what it's made of as well so that they know or any specific washing instructions that it might need. Uh, and I do this with all my items. Um, I find this really easy and in an hour I can whip out probably 40 to 45 um, items easily. And I store all my pictures on my camera and then um, when I do my listings, which I'll walk you through in a minute in the next part of the video, um, after the listing is done and saved, then I can, it's on my phone. Anytime I have time, I can go on my phone, add the photos and list it right then and there. So um, I'll walk you through listings in just a sec. So a couple other things to add that I kind of didn't say when I was doing the other videos. One is that I have an iPhone 8. Um, I love my camera on the iPhone. I don't use any other cameras besides my iPhone. Um, I always use square photos and if I, I'm doing a photo of an, a darker item. If you tap on your screen and it comes up with like a little sun and you can brighten your your um, backdrop and so that you, it doesn't look faded and it really brings out and pops the color um, of your item that's on the white blanket or white backdrop or whatever you use. So this is just what I do. Um, hopefully it's helpful a little bit to you and um, let me know if this is or isn't helpful. Um, and then I'm gonna have some examples of some of the photos that I just took. And uh, I probably I probably photographed maybe 25 to 30 items just now, and it probably took me about 35 minutes. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching, bye.